man. What's going on? Man, I'm working, man. Just working constantly, working. Same old, same old job. What else you been up to? How's your cousin, man? Well, you it's funny. That was from a previous broadcast that I was sharing. Um, but today I want to talk to you about leverage. You know, I know leverage is really important. And I, you know, told you guys I wanted to bring more content to you that, you know, I thought was important. That I also thought uh, it made a difference and that it was impactful. So we're going to talk about leverage, how you can benefit from it, uh, what areas of do you want to leverage in your life, and I guess the impact you could have. And uh, some of those things may be obvious, but it's not always obvious. So I want to talk about it from, again, different perspectives. And if you have any comments, please share your comments. If you have any questions, please share those as well. Um, first of all, I'm talking about leveraging the things that you have, things that you have control over, such as your talents. Now, if I'm making some stuff up, okay, let's put it out there before we even start. If you're a juggler, how can you leverage your talents as a juggler in regards to your business or how you monetize or your efforts? You know, uh, I'm not trying to sound crazy, but are you in the circus? Uh, do you teach people how to uh, juggle? Uh, do you have juggling competitions? You know, right off the top, are you in the circus? Do you teach people? Do you have a juggling competition? Now, I have no idea if something like that could work because I am not a juggler. But my point is, when you leverage, that means you find other ways to do things that may, that may be not only interesting to yourself, but interesting or beneficial to other people. And if you can monetize it, you maximize that average, that effort. So think about it. What do you do that you can leverage? Now, I know for me as a speaker, I teach other people how to speak. Um, I even have events and uh, where I show people how they can showcase their talents. And then I sometimes have some of my colleagues, they have joined me on different platforms to do their own thing. So that's one way and one good example of how you can leverage and I'm talking about leveraging your talents. What else can you leverage? How about your contacts? Now, a lot of people probably do not think about this, but anytime, like I mentioned that some of my colleagues, they are in the same industry. Some are speakers, some are trainers, some are coaches, some are authors, et cetera, et cetera, right? So how do, do I and would I leverage that uh, opportunity of their pr um, profession? Well, again, opening up a platform for them to come in and talk about what they do. Opening up a platform to get them and give them the opportunity to uh, sell, present, or coach in my arena, but at the same time letting people know that I have connections with them. So leverage is uh, a mighty thing if you can, one, do it, two, make it a win-win, not just for you, but also a win-win for other people. I think that's really important. Um, opportunities, like, you know, when I mentioned being a juggler and having a juggling competition or teaching other people, you may find that there are people who literally want to do what you do. And that is an opportunity for you to coach, train, or teach. You know, you can put the adjective that you want on top of it, but that's what it is. You're showing people how this gets done or how to perform uh, this particular work. And even if you're uh, sending them to another location or another resource, it's still because of your effort. So and that's a point of reference. Now, I'm curious, how do you leverage? You know, whatever your comments or your, your questions are, please share them. I want to know how do you leverage you know, your time and your talents. What is what is or what are the different things that you do? You know, or do you leverage things at all? Are you trying to figure it out? You know, does it matter to you? Do you feel like it's not your cup of tea? You know? Um, okay, how about this? 
as you go through life, there's certain things that you've gone through. There's certain milestones that, you know, you're going to have achieved, certain uh, levels of success that you may have uh, benefited from. You know, you may have been, like when I was selling life insurance, I sold a million dollars worth of life insurance. So I was a top uh, salesperson for my company. And what that did, that got me a, a vacation, uh, that got me an awards dinner, that got me an actual award for doing what I had done. It, uh, it did several things for me. And so as I went to further my career or move on, I could refer to those achievements, those milestones, as I'm trying to either raise up in the ranking or uh, higher in status or share with people why they should do business with me. And it's because of my achievements. So you can leverage your uh, the milestones in your life. That's really important because it honestly works and there's nothing wrong with it. And it's a smart strategy to have in life. And if you've never done it, I would highly recommend for you to sit down with pen and paper and think about the things you have done. Um, I think it's more impressive if you look at what companies have uh, acknowledge my achievements. Start with the professional milestones and then the personal milestones and then choose from those two lists which ones can you use to help further your career or help further your entrepreneur career. And I think it will work. You'll find it. You just have to learn how to craft a message around it so that you're presenting it the right way. What else? Okay. Um, your experience also. Just like the achievements, your experience. If you have been doing something for a very long time, it only makes sense that your tenure has shown you many things about that industry, that profession, or that task, whichever it is. You know, the good, the bad, and the indifferent. So if you have um, gone through something and, you know, you again, you've been doing it for, I don't know, five, ten or more years, you would think that you would be considered an expert or just a professional where someone can come to you for information about what you do, and they can benefit from it. It just makes sense. Okay. If you, if you think differently about that, please let me know what your thoughts are. Share your thoughts. Uh, let's see, what else, what else, what else? Um, we talked about talents. We talked about contacts. We talked about opportunities, milestones, and your experience so far. So let's see, what else do I have? You know, your milestones are pretty much the same thing with successes, but a lot of times when people think about the word success, which I say is very measurable, because what's successful to you may not be successful to other people. However, if your successes have been in the news or in the newspaper, uh, just like with the company, then I would think that that kind of like takes it to another level. That kind of changes the scenario a bit because it's not like the the normal or the average success where they call you to the conference room and everyone uh, cuts cake or claps their hands and they give you an envelope or they give you a, a, an award, you know, a little chain or a medallion or something. This is something that may have a wider reach, wider span and that's great to use as a form of leverage. So let people know. I was on um, Good Morning America um, because I did blah, 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 whatever that thing is. Leverage. You want to talk about that. You want to show them uh, the documentation if there is any. So those are great points to use uh, to help you move forward. And, you know, in some ways... The same thing with failures, because if you have done something and you have not fared well, well, you still have experience, but you want to offset the fact that you know something because you've tried it and it did not work. And now that you're on the other side of that failure, this is why you have a level of expertise or insight that should be considered or appreciated. And uh, believe it or not, it does work, you know. You know, there are a lot of times for myself when I do a speech somewhere and I'll tell people, 
first of all, ask them, can I be transparent? And they say, yes. Normally, they, you know, I may have to ask them again, but I'll say, can I be transparent? And they'll say yes. And when I speak about the failures that I have, sometimes I paint that picture in a very dramatic or graphic manner. I'm being honest, but I'm using that to let them know if I'm here in a position to share or teach, whatever the case may be, and I'm being transparent and I have not been successful always, then you can see that I've come from this low point in life all the way up to this high point. And whatever the high point is, I'm trying to let you know that you can achieve, you can aspire, you can rise to a higher level as well. So that's important. And I think another thing you want to do as far as leveraging the stories. You know, sure, your success, your failures, your milestones, those are occurrences, but they're stories. How did you get to that milestone? How did you get to that success? How did that failure occur? Those are stories. There's a process. One thing led to another and another, and before you know it, you are in that space. And you want to use those things, again, to make a point, to prove a point, and to relate to people or relate to a situation. And I just think that that's a smart, smart approach. And I think it really works because I know I've actually done it. Uh, everything that I've said, I'm sharing with you, I know it works because I've done each and everything. Now, again, I would love to get your feedback, love to get your comments, um, whatever it is, if you're watching this in the real time, or even if you're watching uh, the replay, by all means, please let me know what your thoughts are because I know that we all go through different things and sometimes we have almost all the answers but there's just something missing. Who knows? Maybe for you, it's a leverage. I'll be very honest with you. I know a lot, and I know a lot about different things, but I still don't have all the answers. And I still have a coach. I still have a mentor. I still do research. That's how you grow. So if you think you got it all, okay, maybe this clip isn't for you. Maybe this uh, uh, message, this teaching isn't for you. I got it. But if you are a person that's still growing, still learning, or as Earth, Wind & Fire says, you say yearn and learn, then this may be right up your alley. And with that being said, I'm going to look for your comments, I'm going to look for your questions, and I'm definitely going to respond. And again, radiate the brain and change the game. You guys, take care, and I'll see you next time.